Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to the Meat Church Lake Compound. And today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite appetizers that we're going to kick up a notch. It could even be a meal, jalapeno poppers. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to prepare our jalapenos. So we've got a bunch of fresh jalapenos here. What I like to do is just kind of, you know, cut about a two inch portion, just like so. I don't want it, I personally don't like them being this long so I can wrap them good in bacon. About that big is perfect for me. You can use some sort of tool to core them out. This is something that I bought at first Monday here in Canton. And this is also a little preference thing. I'm gonna go down here and kind of cut these veins out, seeds, and just core them out. The heat in a jalapeno really comes from these veins. So if you want them to be more hot, don't cut as much out. If you wanna not be so hot, take a lot out. Next, we're just gonna cut each one of them in half like this. Next, we're gonna build our stuffing. Traditional jalapeno poppers have a block of cream cheese just inside of the pepper and wrapped in bacon. I'm gonna kick mine up a couple notches. We've sauteed one tube of pork chorizo in a cast iron skillet. We're gonna add the block of cream cheese to that, and then we're gonna add our honey hog rub to taste. I'm gonna put quite a bit in here. We're gonna mix it thoroughly, and we're gonna add it to the boats and then wrap them in bacon. I've taken this cream cheese and let it set out for a little bit to try to soften. And to make this easy, I'm just gonna mix it right in the skillet here. And we're gonna add a bunch of our honey hog to taste. You've got other options. You could use our honey pecan rub. You could use our honey bacon rub or your favorite barbecue rub. Kinda do it to taste and mix it up real thoroughly. I like chorizo in my jalapeno poppers, but you've got a lot of options. You know, I've put ground beef in here, I've put venison. Uh, some people use uh, crab, things like that. So play with it, add, you know, dif different sort of stuffings, just kind of to your liking. This makes it a lot more hearty. Um, so like I said, you know, you could kind of make this for a meal if you wanted to. We've got our cream cheese and chorizo and honey hog mixture to the consistency we want. Now it's gonna be simple. We're actually gonna scoop this mixture into the little boats we've created, and I'm gonna wrap each of these boats in a half a slice of regular bacon, not thick bacon, and then I'm gonna season those with more honey hog, and we're gonna put them on the smoker. So what I'm trying to do here is completely fill these boats and not overfill them because that mixture will just run out during the cook. So I wanna maximize this cool, kind of creamy mixture in the jalapeno, but not go too much. Finally, we're gonna wrap these boats we've created in a half a slice of regular bacon, and we're gonna add more honey hog seasoning on the top. This is easiest to do barehanded, to be honest with you, so wash your hands real good, and wrap this around so all right here we go i start right at the top and i just want to thoroughly cover this jalapeno and now you can really see why i cut these jalapenos down to not their full size i want to make sure that the bacon covers the entire boat again something you can play with if you want to leave the jalapeno whole have at it Just like that, total coverage. When you cut them to this size and you get total coverage with the bacon, there's really no need for a toothpick to hold it in place. The bacon will just cook and stay on here perfectly. Our little jalapeno babies are wrapped snug in their bacon blankets, so now I'm gonna add some more seasoning. I'm gonna switch it up, go with my honey bacon. Little bacon on bacon action never hurt anybody. Going pretty liberal. 
And I'm going to let this adhere for about 10 minutes and then we're headed over to the smoker. We put our jalapeno poppers on a rack here. This will make it easier to go in and out of the smoker one time instead of opening it up and having to put in 50 different pieces or so. We've got our Traeger Timberline set at 275 degrees with hickory. This should take 60 to 90 minutes. It depends on the thickness of the bacon that you used. And our neighbors next door, they're using the Traeger right now. We're loaning some grill space. Here we go. I'm going to come back and check them in about an hour and see if they're where I want them. Probably go, I'm going to say probably about 90 minutes. Woo, look at those. All right, so these poppers went about an hour and 20 minutes. I told you they're 60 to 90 minutes depending on the thickness of your bacon. This bacon was a little thinner than what I normally work with. You can see this beautiful color on here. That's from the honey bacon barbecue on top. I've let them cool for a few minutes so that I can eat them. No toothpick needed. You see how that bacon held nicely? This is the perfect snack. All that chorizo inside is going to be nice and hearty. Oh, that's good. You know, remember Levi, who we made famous in our bologna video? Levi, come here. I'll let him be the judge. Sit. You want to try? Good boy. Is it good? You want another one? Your daddy will get mad at me. All right. You guys like these? Try them, make them at home. Put some different stuffings in them. Make them your own, see what you guys like. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We drop a new cooking video every week. Get outside, cook something for your friends. We'll see y'all next time.